In this video, we will see how we can set up bootstrap environment. That is how we can begin with bootstrap. We'll be looking at the two ways. Let's begin. So to set up bootstrap, you can download bootstrap or you can also use CDN. So what are the differences? If you will download bootstrap from the official website, that is getbootstrap.com, you can host bootstrap on your server. But if you will be using the second one, that is CDN content delivery network. In that case, you don't need to install anything. You don't need to set up it on your server. CDN will fetch bootstrap from a server. That is, you don't need to set up it on your system. CDN is basically considered faster than downloading bootstrap. So this is the first one that is you can go to get bootstrap.com and host bootstrap on your server by, by downloading it. Let's see how. Here in type the website getbootstrap.com press enter. After pressing enter you can see the official website is visible. The current version is, is 5.2 which is right now in beta. Here in you can see beta version. You can directly click on download or if you want previous versions you can click here. Okay. And you can download and host it on your server. But I rather prefer going for the second one that is the CDN that is content delivery network. In this, you just need to mention the following two lines in your code. That's it. So the first one is a compiled and minified CSS. You need to add it. And after that, you need to add the compiled JavaScript. Both these two lines, these two lines will work for your code. And you don't need to set up bootstrap on your server, which we saw in the first download bootstrap section. So we'll be focusing on the second one. Okay. So here in you can see we have used JS deliver CDN CDN dot JS deliver dot net. So here in you can see uh, JS deliver welcomes bootstrap CDN and continues to power bootstrap. So this is official bootstrap switches to JS deliver for CDN services. And here are the two lines which I told you before. You just need to add these two lines in your code. JS deliver is the official CDN of bootstrap. So guys, through this, we can easily set up a bootstrap and work around it. In the next video, we'll be seeing how we can add the following in our code. That would be our, that would be how to run your first bootstrap code. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can set up bootstrap environment using two ways. The first one was by downloading bootstrap and the second is to use the CDN. We'll be preferring the second one, the CDN to work with bootstrap. So let's see an example, live running example. So guys, here is our web page. This is an HTML web page with .html extension. Okay. Initially, we added the doc type HTML, which is a must for HTML. Okay. So we need to add this doc type at the beginning of the page with the lang attribute, the title, as well as the character set. Okay. The following these lines. Okay. So we started the HTML tag. We added the lang that is the language, the head tag within that we have a title attribute in HTML. Okay, we added the title bootstrap example, then we added the character set. Okay. After that guys, since bootstrap is basically designed to be responsive on mobile devices. Okay. So to ensure rendering and touch zooming, you need to add the following meta tag inside the head element that is inside the head element. We added the following meta tag. Okay. Herein we added the viewport. Herein we added width is equal to device hyphen width. Basically this part sets the width of the page to follow the screen width of the device. Okay. This will also vary depending on your device, whether it's a desktop, a tablet, a mobile, the initial hyphen scale is equal to one is used to set the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser. After that, we added our bootstrap links, which I told you before, this is the compiled and minified version of bootstrap CSS and JavaScript. Then guys, we are inside our body tag wherein we will write the code. So the code basically depends on the dot container as well as dot container hyphen fluid classes. What are these? Let's see. So guys, the first one is our fixed width container. Okay. That is the container class, which is used to provide a responsive fixed width which is used to provide a responsive container that is a responsive fixed width container. The following is the full width. Okay. So the container hyphen fluid class is used to provide a full width container spanning the entire width of the viewport. So imagine this white color, white color is our web page. 
okay within that we have a full width container that spans the entire width of the viewport and we have a responsive which is which provides a responsive fixed width container so when we'll see the example we will understand it in a better way let's see okay so these were the two classes let's see an example now first i'll be adding div class is equal to container is equal to container and then i'll be adding container hyphen fluid class okay so i told you container class basically provides a responsive fixed width container so within that let's say i'll be adding so i added h1 h2 and a paragraph tag with some sample code okay now moving further i'll add the same here for our example okay so now we have our container class and container fluid class now when i'll run it so here in you can see the first one the first one was our container container class that is responsive okay and the second spans the entire width of the viewport that is container fluid class is the following it spans the entire width of the viewport the entire web page imagine this as a web page when i'll drag it you can see the difference on responsive as well okay so through this you can easily work around bootstrap pages that is how to create a web page using bootstrap so guys in this video we saw how we can work around bootstrap web pages how we can create it we also saw the two containers used in bootstrap the two containers that is bootstrap also requires a containing element to wrap site contents it has two container classes that is container dot container and dot container hyphen fluid so guys thank you for watching the video